Howdy! How's everybody today? Hope this finds you well. We're going to be working on a birch board here today. I'm going to stain it and we're going to start a kind of a different project, something that uh, I've not done before on video. Uh, we're going to be laying leather to this board and then I'm probably going to do some either wood burning, engraving, both. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be one of my own designs. I thought you might enjoy watching the process on this, on uh, how we're going to be working on this board. And um, I guess we'll just get started. I've got uh, some mahogany stain. I'm going to start by staining the board because if there's any wood that shows through this, and especially the, you know the edges and stuff on this when it's uh, hanging on the wall, I, I would like for it to be colored and not just be raw wood. <clears throat> Mercy, I've got a frog in my throat here. Let me get me a little sip. There, that, that'll help take care of it. It's raining today here. It's, uh, you might hear the traffic outside with the water on the roadways. It's good for the garden, but it's not good for the sinuses. I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel here. i got my gloves on so I don't get stain all over my hands. And I'm going to start here on the top of this board. Just laying some stain to it. The uh, stain burns out the wood grain in that wood. makes it really pretty. But now we're going to go all up. <laughs> I got stuff popping up on my screen. Why does it do that every doggone time? I try to do recording here. There we go. Got rid of that. You may hear Fred in the background. Fred's trying to co-host today. Letting everybody know he's out there. He's throwing y'all kisses in a happy mood today. We always like it when Fred's in a happy mood. Fred gets in a nasty mood. Oh my goodness gracious. They can hear him clear up town. Okay, now we're going to tip this up and we're going to do these edges on the board. And that way when it's Hanging on a wall. It'll look like it's a nice finished piece, as it should. The edges are a little rough, so they're tearing the towel up. So. Okay, there's two there. You get it around on the back, it don't matter, because that, that part's going to be to the wall. So nobody will see it anyway. It shouldn't get encoded good. side here. If you wanted to, you could also coat the back of it. I'm not going to coat the back of it. Doesn't need to be that thorough. But there we go. Let's take my paper towel or the dry side of it. Wipe this down some. Get it dried off. There's a little corner here that didn't take good, so I'll take the side that's got the stain on it and tap that in real good right there on that corner. Any little splinters there, we'll pull them off. Be sure we got it coated. Alright, now I throw that piece of paper towel away. I'm gonna take another piece of paper towel, dry my gloves off a little bit here. And then I'm going to take my dryer on my heat gun and I'm just going to hit it a little bit here with a little heat to make sure we get it dry because we're going to be putting glue on this and I'd like for the board to be dry or to get glue to stick to something wet. 
See how fast that just dries that right off? It don't take much to get you a nice high powered heat gun. And just a few seconds of heat laid to it dries it off real good. Alright, got that set off to the side now. I'm going to put the lid back on my stain. Push it down real good. Get it seated there so we don't knock that off and spill any of it. Alright, now I've got a pile of leather. Just scraps. That's all you need is a bunch of scraps. And I'm just kind of going to be pulling up pieces of this. And laying them on. We may have to trim some of them down a little bit. Just you know, wherever they kind of need to, to fit on here. And like I say, there'll be pieces of board that'll, that's going to be showing. I'm not going to try to, you know, puzzle fit it so that every little piece is is on there. I'm not liking that piece. Let's see. Get another piece here. This is just to, yeah, and I'm not liking that one either. If you don't like them, put them back. Those, those are not meant for this job. They'll go to another job. There's another one I'm not thrilled with. You just, you know as you, as you pull them up what you like and what you don't. Be there. There's another piece. See, these these were just all used on other projects. You can see where pieces of them have been cut out to put on other other projects somewhere. Maybe there. Some of them, maybe you don't like them there. Maybe you want them someplace else. Let's see here. Get some more pieces up here. Maybe some smaller ones. Let's see what we got. Just keep playing with it until we like what we end up with. They need to be big enough that I can engrave on them some. I'll be pulling out pieces of um, patterns. And I'll tell you what, them ain't gonna cut through it. Let's uh, get another knife up here. No rhyme or reason to it. even take sandpaper to it and uh, suede it out some before I engrave on it. Show you how we do that. Well, there's just little little pieces of it that are going to fit into what you want to do. Just take a knife and cut them loose. cut off of there. So that, that could go on there like that. I don't like them all going in one direction either. Let's see. You'll see if I do this. It might not look like a whole lot, but it'll be it'll be a pretty piece when I get done. See, those pieces are all a little large. I want to just get some small scraps. I may 
keep digging over here to see what I got from my pile of leather scraps. I just grabbed a whole big handful of them to, to bring over here. Bud back in so I can hear what I'm doing. There we go. Now let's uh, see what I got over here. Um, like I say, make you have to cut some down. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, and I'm still. Let's see here. Let's go. Put that one at the top. I like these straight edges along the straight edges. Like that. And like that. And like that. So if I could get a thin straight edged piece. I don't seem to have any like that, but I do have. No, no, that's not going to do what I want it to do. This one would if I get it cut just right. Let me take. Uh, let's see, where's my marker? Even a pencil probably would do for what I want to do. I'm going to ease this to the edge of the table. Scoot my chair back a little here. To the edge of the table. Now I've got that sitting right where I want it. I'm going to take this pencil and mark the back of that piece of leather. Try to anyway. Several marks on it. Let's see if that marked it. Yes, it did. Okay. So I'm satisfied where those are. Did I want that there or did I want that there? Maybe there. Okay. If we did that, that would be pretty cool. Look like this piece is just coming right off of that one. There, let me mark this. There won't be as much coming off of it there. Just the edge. I can't tell that it really marked as much. Hmm. <laughs> How about if we do it this way? Set that in there right like that. Pull it to the edge of the table. Huh? See, I don't want it hanging off up there. That's going to be an issue. And I don't want it hanging off over here. Or the back of that. Yeah, that's scored it. Okie dokie. And then we come right along that score line with the knife. And that's the piece we want to try to cut off of there. Just much. Ain't much. Now, 
now if I did end up with a little of it hanging off the edges, I can always, once it's all done, I can flip it over and then I can go around the edges with a knife just to trim off what smidgen there's going to be hanging off on the edges. But I don't think it's going to amount to a whole lot, probably not even enough worth fooling with. These are nice, thick pieces of leather. This, is, this belt leather is what it is. So it takes a little bit to cut through all that with a knife. right there to the edge like that now if you had a lot of little tiny scraps and you wanted to fill them in in there you could I'm probably just going to engrave the board in those spots just dig through the patterns and see what goes in there now obviously you know a strip like that's not going to get anything but you know your bigger spots down in here don't seem to have anything that would go in that little round spot there unless I cut a piece up. Dig it around and make sure, at least not in this. If I went over and rooted through the, my big box of scraps, I might find something. But I'm not really finding anything. And, you know, to try to fit something else in there just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to be cutting it up. So, I think I'll go with what I got. Set that off to one side. We got one, two, three, four, five pieces of leather here. First thing I'm going to do is glue them down. Now to glue them down, I'm going to use E6000. E6000 is an excellent glue to hold stuff together. Especially when you're working multimedia. I'm just going to put some dollops of glue on the back of that right there. Be sure and get the corners of it good. I'm going to get me a craft stick and I'm moving that around on there. Just saw my craft sticks a couple minutes ago, so I know that they are close here. Rooting through the drawer. There they are. And we take a craft stick. Go to moving that glue around a little bit on that leather. So that it adheres the, the whole thing. Scoochie it around. It's another Brenda term, scoochie. Press it in real good. Just like that. Now. Do this one up here at the top. A little more glue. Get 
don't take a whole lot. Take a craft stick and just go, go spreading her out. gonna hang off just a touch there not enough probably to even fool with but if I don't like it once it's all done and want to take that off there I'll just run the knife across it and that'll be taken care of so now that we got that one where we want it make sure you press it down real good get the edges and everything down good all right now we're gonna do that piece Know where it goes now. A little glue to the back of that. Now, I recap my glue every time I use it because if you don't, it tends to keep oozing out. We'll have glue on everything, whether we want it there or not. Now, see how that piece fits right there like that? Flip this over here like this. And we grab this piece. back on it again. That's the last one, so I'll just go ahead and get the glue out of the way. Put that up there in the organizer. Call them organizers, I don't know. I think they might be disorganizers, because I never can find anything in them, but <laughs> you know it's there, you just can't find it. Yeah. I'll press that down real good. That's looking good. The next thing I need is my patterns. So let me get my patterns. Where's my pattern bucket? Whoops. Knock the things off here. Because that's how we roll. Okay. Now, I want to go with Southwest Designs on this. You could use any kind of designs that you enjoy, whatever you like. I happen to like the Southwestern Designs, so I'm going to pull the mess of them out of there. And that's what I'm aiming to use. And I'm just going to kind of fit them up there and see. See what fits where. I may have to cut some of these out. As a matter of fact, I can lose these gloves now. I think the the uh, stain is dry, so don't have to worry about having to scrub an hour on my hands to get the stain off of me. There we 
we go. Now, I'm going to take the scissors. I love this dream catcher. I thought this would look, well, tangled up here. I thought this would look pretty on it if I can get it to fit on any of these leather pieces. And the only way we're going to know is if we cut this thing out. fit it on there and I'll be dogged it's perfect it is perfect for that piece. it looks like I intended it to go there oh my goodness I must be living right all right now we're gonna take it off of the backing and gotta get your knife blade right between the plastic and the backing paper, which is not an easy task because this stuff is thin. There we go. Now, throw the backing paper away and then bring this up here. Let's let that run on there. Oh boy, oh boy. I slipped that one on there. Some days you just live in right. Now, I want to get the bigger designs on first because smaller ones are always easy to work with. And let me cut some out here and just see. See what looks good where. I like the goat. Let's see. I can get the goat to fit on there. And the goat is not going to fit on that piece or that piece, but he fits right there. See how he's just made to fit right there. Holy moly. And there again, we got to peel him off of the plastic or off the backing. Take the knife right between. Get a little hole poked to get the knife blade in there. And then we raise up that plastic off of the backing. There we go. And we put him. just a touch there. There we go. Put him right there. Rub him down real good. Give him a massage. Now, let's see. Coca Pelly needs to go on there. stick transfer I get these from Welburn Gourd Farms this is an easy one it's on the edge so it's got a start on it already let's see Coca Pelli I'm thinking right in the middle you can look Welburn Gourd Farms up on the internet through Google and find them they've got all kinds of different designs in these patterns and there's Coco Pelli. Now, which other ones do we want to use? I'm thinking that we can use a turtle. And we'll go for a big turtle. 
turtle can go right there, or turtle could go right there. Before I do that, let me decide what I'm going to put on this other one. Let's see. I'm thinking one of the rabbits. Let me just look through my patterns and see if anything else stirs me. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I think the eagle. I think the eagle will go right in there. Yes. Okie doke. Guess we can do the little rabbits. some of the smaller places. Okay, so we take an eagle off of the pattern. We have a rabbit and an eagle. Okay, let's go ahead and get this off of here. to pull it off the corner. Right there she goes. And my canaries are singing. You like my canaries singing today? They sing a pretty song. Boy, I tell you what, I can nap with those canaries singing. They will knock me out. <laughs> that is so peaceful. I used to have ringneck doves. Oh my goodness. Listening to them coo was just like being in heaven. I can't imagine that heaven would have a prettier sound and listening to the ringneck doves singing. And I still even like the wild ringneck doves. I'll, I'll go out and sit on the patio. I've got a lot of ringnecks in my backyard. And I'll go out and sit on the porch swing there on the patio and just listen to the doves. It's good for the soul. Not enough people do things that are good for their soul. Okay, I'm going to put a little concho flower right in there. Like that. And um, I wanted to use a rabbit. A small rabbit. Because I hadn't done one of them. I think I can put a little rabbit there, or maybe not, I don't know, he's got awful big ears. Let's see if little rabbit will go up there. If not, well, he'll go back in the bin. But if I put him on two pieces there, if I let him kind of overlap, he'd fit, but I don't know if I want to do that. It'd be better off, I think, if I put a feather in there. <clears throat> I've got some decent sized feathers here. <clears throat> my, my. <clears throat> Throat's getting scratchy again. Getting about time for me to get another swig of drink here. Some old beverage. Feather look real pretty. I think I want to go in that direction though. Right there. So well, this is on an edge, so it's easy to peel loose. Backing off of it. Lay that feather in right there. Now once this is all engraved, and I get the pattern paper off of it, I can get my dies and dye the leather. Or you could paint it if you want to, but I prefer 
the die on something like this. Now let's get your tools out of the way here. Just like that. get ready to rumble. I want to get my engraver going. There's the engraving tool right there. And we got to get the air compressor plugged in. And I will be turning off the volume so you don't have to listen to the engraver. But you can watch me engrave this. <clears throat> we'll talk about the carver in case you are new here. This is called a power carver. It is by a company called SCM Systems. That's Sam Charlie Mary. S I think I did that wrong. SMC, Sam Mary Charlie. Um, so you type it in smcsystems.com into your browser and it'll bring them up and go to the engraving tool and get these whole systems. You get the, the carver with the tubing and the regulator, the air compressor and the muffler for less than a thousand bucks. Uh, they'll give you some bits. You can get more bits. Uh, you can get plain peel and stick paper. Make sure you get it for whatever kind of printer you have because you can't use um, the inkjet the inkjet paper in a laser. It will melt your pattern paper. So if you have a laser printer, get your laser printer paper. If you have an inkjet printer, get your inkjet printer paper. Then whatever design you happen to find on the internet, you can print off. I've got some of that, uh, but I also buy these already made ones from Welburn Gourd Farms. Kind of saves me time. But if I want something special, I can always go online and find something special that uh, I don't have patterns for. But there, there's the dealio on this stuff but you just follow the directions for these you set it up just the way they tell you to um, you change the bits the way they tell you to these are wonderful little tools uh, and I highly recommend them um, it, a lot of people are opposed to the sound of a dental drill and I, the best the only thing I can tell you is this when you start making money with your engraving you forget about the sound of the drill um, <laughs> I've never been bothered by the sound of the drill because I've had a lot of dental work done ever since I was a little child, and so I'm used to the sound of the drill and it doesn't bother me at all. But um, some people are sensitive to it. But that being as it may, I'm going to kill the volume here, and I'm going to go to the engraving on this, and you'd see just how fast this cuts through. Do not use a Dremel. The Dremel will chew up your leather and make a big mess. So here we go.
Okay, we've had a slight malfunction here. Um, my air cord came off of my tool. Um, hmm. So, I may have to cut this episode short until I figure out how to get that back on there. I don't know what that gave up there for. So, this may be as far as we get with it today, and I'll have to um, repair my cord here, my air tool, and um, we'll finish this up. We've been at this an hour anyway, but we'll, um, we'll finish this up on our next episode and uh, go from there. Uh, <laughs> goodness gracious, best laid plans of mice and men, but we've almost got it engraved. So we'll finish the engraving then in the next episode, and then we'll um, put the um, die to it and figure out what else we want to do from there. So check out my Patreon, my Etsy, um, my YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all them good things that I've got going on. And uh, only one thing left to say. And that's Brenda's Crafty. Be like Brenda. Bye.